Zach Pack. Welcome back to Zach Talks Tech, where it's about the community, engagement, and conversation we're having here about the tech that you love. All right, so this is 24 hours later with the iPhone 10R or R, Zar, <laughs> I don't know what name you want to call it. Uh, but my impressions so far after 24 hours are I'm impressed. Uh, the single lens system is working great. The form factor is exactly the way I like it. I love the color of this blue right here. I really like the aluminum band going around here and everything seems to be working really well. It's very snappy, very easy to use. I am having some of the usual qualms and usual issues. And some of those usual issues are, and I've mentioned this before in, in previous reviews of the iPhone, and you can check out those videos up here, and they're down in the description as well. Notifications, I know they're there. I hear the sound, sometimes I may not hear the sound, I might have it on mute. Um, you still gotta swipe down and you still gotta find them. It would be really cool if we had some way, some way visually to look at it and see notifications. I Note 9, for example, I can pick it up and I can see physically right away, I have notifications, I have a Facebook message, I've got Twitter waiting for me, I've got email, whatever it is. Apple, you guys gotta work on that. Uh, there's gotta be a better way uh, you know, especially when you first pick up and unlock and to see notifications at the top. They are on the lock screen, but it's still, it doesn't feel complete. It's not completely always, always in your face. And I don't know if that's a feature of iOS so that notifications are not constantly there on your case and things like that. But again, something I would prefer to have, maybe something you can toggle on or off, just something to kind of think about. My favorite feature so far has been the camera. It's been working out really great. Here's some shots I took, you guys can see you know, faces coming out, uh, the lines seem to be crispy. You can see a little bit of cutoff on my glasses and that's kind of a, um, you know, it's, it's something I've experienced with other phones doing uh, portrait modes or blur modes or bulk or whatever. Uh, it's because of the clear lens. So something that, you know, maybe could be improved in the future with software, but I've experienced the same thing with the Note, with the Pixel phones, and obviously here with this, with the with the iPhone. But other than that, I'm very happy with the camera, the selfie camera, working out great. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I think there's tremendous value in this device right here. I think this is really the direction that Apple really wanted to go, and the 10s Max is just kind of over and above, but you know, the concessions that this takes, the three or four features that this does not have compared to the 10s Max, make this a really good buy. So overall, after 24 hours, I'm really impressed. I plan on giving another you know, five or six days here and having a full review for you guys soon. We'll go really in depth, uh, features, apps, things like that, things I didn't like, things I, uh, things I do like. So let me give you guys an update on the give back promo that we're doing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and check out the video up here if you're done watching. Link is also down below. But I'm giving away two of these iPhone 10Rs. But you might be thinking, but Zach, there's three there and you're giving away two. What about the other one? The other one is going to a very special gentleman, a guy that's been working on my thumbnails, does a terrific job and I think he really deserves it. He actually needs a phone right now. That is Paul Gross Close and I'll leave a link for him down in the description there. You guys can check him out. You can also check out his channel here. Go check him out. He's been doing my thumbnails lately and helping me out here and there. Really appreciate the job that you do, Paul. Two phones will be taken away. Whatever color's left over, you'll be getting that. There you go, buddy. The winners of the give back will be announced on November 1st on the Zach Talks Live channel. Go and check it out. Link is up here, also down below. Time is still to be determined, so make sure you guys are subscribed over there. You make sure you have notifications turned on. I'll make sure that there's an announcement well in advance on my Twitter. Make sure you guys are you know, check me out there, Twitter, Twitter's right there, go ahead and check it out. And we'll be going live on that channel to announce the winners of the two iPhone 10Rs. Anyway guys, that'll do it here for me. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Think about hitting that subscribe button as well. Make sure you guys leave a hashtag, Zach Pack, down inside the comment section there. You guys are part of my Zach Pack, and I'm glad you're here. Anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care, cheers.